June 7th release date is going to stick, and, and we'll see something uh, cool that On Live uh, you know, does with, with, with those guys. I'm, yeah. I'm definitely ready for another June should action. be a good month. Yeah, I'm June's definitely so. be a good month. <laughs> because it's no longer May. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's let's roll into uh, the topic of the week now, um, and this is going to be uh, for this week. We wanted to talk about what games uh, people are wanting on the service. So, Eddie, I want to start with you. Uh, what what game or games uh, are you wanting to see on on live? Well, this is going to be kind of redundant because everybody knows I'm waiting for EA games. <laughs> I knew it was going to go there. <laughs> yeah. Well, besides besides um, Crisis. I'm really looking forward to being able to play the sports games, EA Sports, like Madden and NHL. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it would, I mean, I wouldn't mind NHL. I, it's probably the only EA Sports game I would play because everyone else has done all the other games better except for football, but I don't even still understand how they're releasing a football game this season. But yeah, it's still, true. it's like hockey, EA seems, in my opinion, that is the only game that EA does better than anybody else. Yeah, I'm 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 just a big Madden fan, and the prospect of being able to play Madden on live just makes me really happy. <laughs> but we don't know, we don't know yeah. what's going to happen with that. They announced the new, the new athlete yesterday. So. Yeah, Vic lost out. I saw. <laughs> he looked like he was going to cry. <laughs> I think that was more of like a PR move on EA's part. Like they they didn't want to uh, bother with like all the controversy of having yeah, Michael Vick. I'm 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 pretty sure that they were breathing a sigh of relief that Michael Vick was not uh, <laughs> voted. voted. Yeah, gosh, yeah. that could have been like a bad. It, it just would have. I think it would have brought out like a entirely like um, whole like uh, side story that that is is very unneeded for for the new Madden game. You know. Oh. So. If he did get if he did get voted, it would be all right because it would be on a season that nobody's playing anyways. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. Be like, oh, you tried to get your cover on a uh, on Madden. Well, too bad it's a lockout season. <laughs> so, what about you? Uh, what are some of the games you want? On, on uh, um, I don't know. I you know having played Mafia now. It's like, I'm really hoping to get some more story-driven games like that, which is one reason why I'm kind of looking forward to to, uh, to Fear and Red Faction. Um, and I'm kind of, it's like, it's almost blasphemy to say, but I'm kind of tired of Just Cause 2 now. Um, oh, and, you know, Red Faction, like I told you last week, I played the crap out of that game. Um, and it's just like, I'm kind of tired of open world, especially having just kind of, you know, having just finished or just about to finish Mafia, it's like I want something, while that was still a pretty linear open world game I don't want something that I have to do a whole lot of driving or a whole lot of walking anymore I want mm. my story to progress, so I I can't wait for Red Faction to see what happens and Fear obviously is a is a big is a big choice for me One of the things that I would like to see um I, I've talked a lot about uh, my love for Sega, and I would love for some of the old Sega games to come out. Um, in particular, I would like some of the old like uh, like Sega RPGs uh, to, to start coming out on the service. I think that's one of the things that on live, you know, as a whole, like looking at it, is is missing is some like turn based RPGs, and not necessarily even just Sega, but I would like to see mm-hmm. you know uh, turn based RPGs just start appearing on on the service because i i love those you know those were one of the uh first uh genres that i started playing with you know or on on like the uh nes um so i would like to see some um rpgs start to come out on there and um, questions from listeners yeah let's uh let's go through uh, a few of the questions um krull 2004 asks uh, what devices uh you guys are using for on live so i'll let you guys uh answer that question first um, I'm actually I'm actually using both. Uh, I'm using my my micro console, and I'm using uh by by laptop as well as my tower. So I don't know. I've used both of them. Both of them seem to work really well. Um, the fact I can hook my wireless keyboard and mouse up to my micro console makes me a whole lot happier. Um, yeah, that's what I'm using, and they're both just fine. What What do you prefer? Go ahead. Oh. Oh, um, 
It depends on the games. Um, if they're the shooters that could use controllers, I'm usually, um, or, you know, maybe dirt or something like that, I'm usually using uh, my micro console through my, through my LED. Um, and if it's, uh, you know, just little casual stuff like Luxor or whatever or something like that, I'll typically be using my, my mouse and um, wired up to my laptop or tower. Okay. It just depends on the game. Sometimes I don't need my big TV to play Fishdom 2. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, Eddie? Um, I mostly use my PC, although I prefer using my micro console. But I, I, had a, a, I can use the um, bridge on my PC. My office is upstairs, and our cable line runs downstairs. So it's important. I can't hook the micro console up upstairs, <laughs> so that's right. a little bit of a problem for me. <laughs> but so I, I see a little more lag using the bridge on my PC. Mm-hmm. But when I get time, I sneak downstairs and I'll use the micro micro console, and uh, I, I just like playing on that a lot better. Yeah, same with me. Like, uh, like my house. Like, it, it, it. I don't live in a in a very big house. It's like a single story house. So, um, I have my uh, my modem like really like hooked up underneath my TV, um, where my uh, micro console is and and everything else. So sometimes uh, if the kids are you know on the TV like watching a movie or something like that, I'll go in into my bedroom and uh, play on my PC. But I definitely prefer playing on my micro console in the living room it just gives me that console experience that i'm used to playing and i'm, I'm used to to having you know yeah i, I definitely agree. I'm, I'm definitely more of a console player rather than a pc player no is, um, is there a way isn't there a way to bridge the um micro console somehow somehow hook that up for wi-fi usage hmm i don't know i've never tried to do that no i to do that i've heard of people say they have but i haven't seen any concrete proof of it yet I've um, tried a few things, and I couldn't manage to do it. Yeah, I mean, because there's no... It doesn't know, have, like, a wireless, like, uh, card in or anything, does it? Uh, don't believe no, so, it no. It's just straight the Blu-ray, or uh, the Bluetooth, and the, uh, you know, for your headset and controller, and your USB inputs, that's it. Hmm. Yeah, that, that, that's my problem, because my micro console, the cable, the cable internet line runs into my brother's room. So whenever I want to play the micro console, I'd kick him out of his room. <laughs> so it's it's a pain. Yeah. Nice. Um, let me see. Uh, uh, next up is uh, Brash. He asked, uh, um, "The future of online? Uh, how shaky is it when uh, Perlman has a history of selling off everything he's ever made? Will he keep this one? Is this the baby he's always been waiting for, or is this just another notch on the wall to some bigger aim?" Or Kyra on live if he does. I, I don't really think it really matters mm-hmm. if it if on live does end up selling to somebody like Microsoft or whoever, Google, Facebook, Apple, any of them. I mean, if it does sell, it's just gonna <laughs> give them a boost. If anything, it's not gonna hurt the system. Mm-hmm. Although it'd be nice to see it stay in Parliament's hands. If if I went track record, I'd say, oh, just you know, give it two years and he'll sell it off uh but if i want to speak from a smart business sense at this point for what on live is turning into um and how much it is undoubtedly making uh even with games at discount he from a from a smart standpoint i would say he'd keep it but track record uh give it a couple years and we a it may very well go to another company um company i would probably want to see it go to uh i don't know i i would probably say uh probably google just because they have a little bit more Um, there's so many ways it could go i mean i could see it what if facebook wanted to socialize socialize on live you know how you play all the zynga games on Mm -hmm. facebook what if it was on live games you could play with your friends well at the same time Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, at the same time as that, if we look about three, four years ago, we would be saying, uh, well, maybe not even that long ago, we'd be saying, well, what if they sold the MySpace? And before that, 
what if they sold to like Friendster? You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. And that's where you know everyone's dumping all this money into basically Silicon Valley and giving it all to Facebook and saying, "Here you go." The problem is, Facebook's a fad, and that's what people don't seem to understand. It's just a trending thing that something else will come out later, and it's just going to go. Facebook isn't the first. MySpace isn't the first. It even goes back further than that. So, mm-hmm. I don't even know. know if Facebook would have the um, capital to buy on live. <laughs> it, it, it would cost a lot more than yet, Facebook so. would have. Yeah. Google would be an interesting option, though. Can't do. I don't think we do Apple because Apple's already working on their own game thing, supposedly. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like, uh, I would just like to see, you know, on live just, you know, just kind of stick with it and, and see where they can build it um, from from here where they're at right now rather than looking at uh, trying to sell out anywhere. And, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but uh, selling out that is. But, you know, I just want to see where they can take it, you know, because they definitely have a vision and, and they're, you know, they're delivering on what they're saying that they were going to do. And I would just really like to see uh, you know where they can take the service from here. If they continue to get the investors like HTC and stuff, there's not really a need to sell. Mm-hmm. I mean, if they can get funding like that, why not just keep it in Perlman's hands, let him run the company, and use the money that others want to give him? Yeah. At the same time, if they keep um, keeping the customers happy, they're going to make a bunch of money that way too. So. As long as they keep up with that, like, super awesome customer service they have going and they continue to produce what they're doing, then they'll be up and they'll be up and running in no time. Yep. Let's, uh, you know, let's, I think we should probably start wrapping this, uh, podcast up this week. Um, Eddie, can you, uh, just, uh, kind of run through the, uh, contest real quick again just to, uh, make sure that, uh, everyone, uh, who's listening, uh, kind of knows what it's all about again? Sure. We're giving away one on live micro console plus five play passes. That's six prizes to six people. Um, the contest will run until May 12th, 12 p.m. Eastern Time. It's a Thursday. And um, right now the drawing is scheduled for that night, May 12th, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, we said we'd have the drawing live in the chat room, but I'm thinking maybe we could do it over this um, fan cast. That'd be cool. On here. That'd be yeah. a good idea. Um, you can earn entries into the drawing by referring other members to OnLiveFans.com, following us on Twitter, liking us on Facebook, following us on YouTube, or tweeting our message on Twitter. Um, you can get all the information on our forum in the OnLiveFans.com contest folder. All the rules, everything's there. And cool. that's about it. Awesome. I'm really excited to see, uh, you know, how this turns out. It seems like there's uh, a lot of interest in it, and uh, I'm, I'm glad that the, uh, you know, the site's getting uh, a lot of, uh, you know, hits with it. So far, we've had about, I'd say, 80 people enter the contest using everything other than referrals. I haven't calculated the referrals as of yet. Sweet. Cool deal. All right, guys, I think this uh, wraps up for this week. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, shut it down, and uh, we will see each other uh, next week for another uh, uh, On Live Fans cast. It was fun. All right, I'll see you guys later. See you later. All right, thank you. They're eating her. And then they're going to eat me.